Hey, V. It's me, Mitch. Remember? You saved my ass from Kang Tao. V, hey. Can you hear me? Shit, is this thing recording? Storm's closing in. 30 seconds to blackout. You just give me a call and I'm in Night City before you know it. Doesn't matter if you want someone to disappear or if you need lunch brought to your office. Literally anything, all right? All right, take care now. All right now, take care. Because you were the one leading the charge, V. The craziest, baddest merc from Pacifica to the Appalachians. I don't know what you're up to right now, what your plans are. But just remember, we'd walk through hell and back with you any time, sister. Look, don't take this the wrong way, but that's for the family, all of it. Well, go do what you got to do. I can wait a bit. Anyway, come on. Help me out with something. Some loose ends. Final goodbye. I don't much want to do it alone. Used to be Scorpions, that rig. Now she belongs to me. And my old girl's right next to it. Damn right. Out here, those wheels are our life. One of Scorpion's favorite spots. I owe him one, V. You're okay behind the wheel, right? Almost there now. Here we are. Go ahead, kill the engine. Press there. A little to the left. Yep, that's it. Relax, V. It's what Scorpion wanted. I'll tell him it was an accident. Out with a bang. Just like he wanted. Because we need two. So... How about a beer? Ah, nothing like a good cold one. We're heading for the collapsed bridge. Other side of that hill. That's all right. No point beating a dead horse. Do you know what it's like to lose your best friend? Slow your roll, V. That's all right. No point in beating a dead horse. It's shit, V. Huh, that's interesting. Why not? You got a mean streak I'm not seeing? A little patience, V. Now, I don't know how it was in your clan, but in the Aldecaldos, everything stays in the family. I'll take scorpions, you hop in the other. You'll see, V. Trust me. Let's hit the road. Follow me. We set him up behind the wheel, douse the car, then light it, let him fly off the edge. Funny. You know, I haven't the slightest idea. Never asked him. I don't know, I, uh, I guess the fact that I'm still here to send him off right. That's thanks to you. All right, my city chum. Everyone grieves their own way. Hey, where do you think you're going? Follow me. Sure. Listen, if you want, you can take my car back to camp. Whatever works for you. May the road be kind to you, friend. A little closer now. Let's do this, V. For Scorpion. Cat got your tongue? Hey, no need for a moment of silence just yet. I can tell you're a city boy. You want to know everything, now, yesterday. What brings you to these parts, city girl? Take whatever you want. <laughs> she wrote it to death in Old Night City. Yeah, yeah, go on, go already. Call us sometime. Is that a ghost or is it just my hangover? With what? What's this about? You catch that? Over. Don't get yourself killed. Remember Crater Lake and your big retirement plans. Thanks for saving my ass, V. Hey, man, where are you? Hello? Scorpion? <clears throat> the road was clear. I don't think we were spotted. We would still do better not to hang around too long. He was armed, close to panic. Could have done something stupid, like kill me. Took him with him, in our cars. Don't argue with her, V. No point. Eh, just some scratches. For fuck's sake, fucking shoot him already! Bullshit! But Pan Am, go. I'll call the crew. Get all this cleaned up. V, these guys are soldiers. No strangers to risk. He had a gun against my head. He knew the consequences. Let's move! We couldn't retreat, Pan Am. They regrouped so fast. Started shooting rockets and shit. I lost everyone. Pan Am, you remember the cowboy, don't you? Pan Am, you remember the cowboy, don't you? Go. I'll call my people. We'll take care of things here. You know you are. 
but he gives a damn about you, Pan Am. Look, maybe you two don't see eye to eye at the moment, but you're family, and Saul will do anything for family. You know you are. Take care. Sounds solid. I took care of it. Look, maybe you two don't see eye to eye at the moment, but you're family, and Saul will do anything for family. I understand. Let's move! I figured they might need help. In the worst case, there'd be good salvage to be had. Mm-hmm. We'll want to see him coming. It'll all work out, Pan Am. Everything. You did what you could. There is no fault of yours here. <laughs> now let's check Bobby's little find. I've got green across the board. Good sign. All right, fire her up. Thanks for everything, V, and don't worry. We'll get you into that Makoshi. Isn't that the way of it? It wasn't any different back then. Unity is a state of mind, Teddy. An imagined community. At least here, now, you know where you stand. There's a flat area over there. Let's swing towards it. I'll have to check before tomorrow if her guts are tight and firm. Something just don't sound right to my ear. Holy shit! Hey, how go things? Perfect spot for a little target practice. Are you kidding me? She's a panzer. Panzers don't get scratched up. I'll catch you later. Yep, beautiful. There goes our element of surprise. I got a terminal. We're jacking in. 27%. How can we possibly turn it? Pan, we've got a problem. Sure thing. Maybe after sundown, though. We still have a few loose screws to tighten. Standard couldn't move this baby an inch. A rapid-fire 70-millimeter multiple rocket launcher coupled with an onboard MMI you can sync to via personal link. As luck would have it, Dakota procured some. Don't ask me how. Almost there, nearly at 60%. They're trying. They might even have started to see eye to eye in their own way. So, V, I heard talk that there's a war coming. He could, but Saul's no brick brain. He knows Pan Am doesn't want to fill his boots. Mature into whom? Will you quit being such a sourpuss? We'll have her ready in time. They gave us chem cocktails. Supplements, boosters, God knows what else. All right, we've gossiped enough for one day. What was just spoken stays between us, okay? I'm gonna poke around some in this baby's insides. There. Looks like we don't have one neither. Come on, I'll take you to see him. Look around, V. War-tested veterans are a fistful at most. The rest mostly raid rinky-dig convoys and salvage scrap. Hell, by now, they both know what's expected of them. What the clan expects of them. And what gave you the idea Pan Am wants a seat to begin with? Pan Am has decided to risk her life, our lives, for you, and only you. So I don't think I dare to call that cold feet. Hey, don't look at me. Like I said, Teddy, it's a state of mind. Or, you know, the air. You'd think you plain couldn't jazz up a panzer that way, huh? Hop in. I'm not surprised. The day you get your jacket is a day you never forget. Please. And? Do you think Militech gave a lick about that? They just airlifted the afflicted to their clinics in Taiwan. <laughs> Daily flights. And every day we'd get fresh recruits. Still, they pumped us with that shit. But hey, we couldn't argue with the money. If only it was that simple. Ah, no matter. I'm talking silly now. What'd you think? That war wasn't effed up? There's gossip spreading like wildfire already. That Saul won't pull through, that he's in it for himself. That this family needs a shakeup. We'll see how things look tomorrow, once the smoke is cleared. If she hasn't lost it already. Here's how it looks. Tomorrow goes off without a hitch. Saul gets the credit for leading. But if anything goes sideways, you get some rest. I'll try tweaking that targeting. See you at sunup. Do you have a better idea? Not today, Pan. I'm feeling lucky. Give me to hell. Is everybody reading loud and clear? I've got us on a group channel. Your turn. What do you reckon? We're doing what we can. Just sit tight. They shot them into our veins. Our biomons went wild, but only for a second before stabilizing, and boy, did we stabilize. 
So, time for a ride? You'll be steering this butte tomorrow. Would you like to give her a whirl? Things are about to get real ugly. You should be used to this by now, Saul. Things rarely go as planned. But this decision we make now. I'm taking the Panzer. They need all the help they can get. They're family, Pan. I'm not leaving them behind. You'll owe me a beer after this. I'm here. Safe and sound. All right, here we go. Mitch out. Hardly anyone ever does. The day you get your jacket is a day you never forget. I'll take her now. I get picky about parking. The latest models, just off Militech's assembly line. Be careful, all right? We don't want any more casualties. You think you know all you need to? If not, fire away. Okay, let's move on quick. Militech's bit down. They won't let go. Support's likely on the way. All right, we're firing up to Cirque. Aiming to bore through to Arasaka Tower. This will take some time. V, we'll need you to cover us. We need to wipe the corpos aside. Off the road, make it across the bridge. Get in and let's go. See? He likes it. So there's this old smuggling tunnel. Forgotten. We'll aim to use that. It's near the wall. Not nearly big enough, though. See you on the other side. And thanks to you, we stole enough Arasaka tech to build an aircraft carrier. Everything's almost set. Pan Am. Girl, are you running from Night City or going to your granny's for cookies and milk? Gun it or that storm will catch you. Hey, V. Give me a month and I'll be as good as new. I told you all I'd be fine, didn't I? I'm glad you're with us, V. See you soon. Aldecaldo stopped using it years ago. We got tipped off that Night Corp had found it and started monitoring the area. Primed and ready. Soon as they see us, we go. See you on the other side. We're ready. After you, Pan Am. So we'll see how it goes. Wouldn't call it a story so much as just another episode of what happens to folk traveling on the road. Me and Pan Am were hauling cargo from San Francisco to Kansas for one of these so-called cowboys. So we get there, we unload the cargo, some valves for boilers, doesn't matter. Stench in the air is unbearable. Pan Am's face is green. She's practically gagging. I thought that was it, that we were screwed. But you know what the cowboy said? No need to bow, I'll just take a handshake. Back in boot camp, they made us pilot them alone in case our partner got dusted off. Guess it turned out useful in the end. I'm old school, you know, from the days when mercs were sent into all-out war. Back then, they trained you to be a warrior. I floated a drone over the race camp. And hey, it shouldn't be me occupying your thoughts, but Saul. I floated a drone over the wraith's camp. If you find Saul hasn't flatlined, you'll probably need this. You taking a look or not? Uh, it works, though not reliably. V, could you scan it? Because I am not open to the prospect of taking it all apart again. Damn it to hell, Saul. Are you seriously considering letting that basilisk slip through our fingers? I can't believe it. Look, there he goes, off to paint the grass green. Either that or to boot us out of the family. Shame not to say hello. On the contrary, easy as pie. There won't even be much security on the convoy. The family is falling apart. If we fall into this biotechnica rut, no one will ever take us seriously again. But if you change your mind... Wait, do I sense a quiver in your voice? For a time, everybody had to go back to the old ways. This engine ran on nuclear. Like submarines do. Uh-huh. I realize Pan Am is right. Okay, here they come. What's there to say? They just packed you into a panzer down in Mexico and said full speed ahead, soldier. That's different. We'll manage just fine on our own. All we need is a few good jobs. To get people talking about the Aldecaldos again. No, I think we managed to keep them off our scent. All we have to do is shove this beauty in its way. You're not blowing this a little out of proportion. Congratulations. We'll make better use of it right here in America. I thought I heard that voice. Ah, uh, come on. Did you get your hands clammy, too? You're barely standing, V. 
You take care of yourself, okay? But you're not leaving us already, are you? If you don't want to, you don't need to drop into the middle of this. Heads up! That's how we do it! Damn straight! Come one, come all! Now, where were we? V, you asleep or what? Hey, now! Careful there! You registering this, V? V! V, hey! Christ, that run we did. My heart's still pounding. Okay, well, all of us have been wondering when you're finally gonna drop by. Guess what I'm trying to say is, well, Badlands could use a badass like you, V. Don't know what you got on your plate right now, but remember, you're welcome out here anytime. A pack of nomads versus Arasaka. Oh, I mean, the odds were totally stacked against us. I didn't know if we'd get out alive. But hey, we made it. And you know why? Until next time, eh? Take care. I don't know what you're up to right now, what your plans are. But just remember, we've walked through hell and back with you, brother, any time. Yeah, yeah, I'm doing all right, but, uh, meh. So many dead. So many of them good friends, too. Come on, then. Goddamn stuck again. Come here, help me out. He did. Said it a million times if he said it at all. Great. Go ahead. Put it in the passenger seat. No point wasting time. Another hour or two and he'll puff up like a balloon. No, V. No, I am not. Hell yeah. I already got a rag in the can. You light it. I'll start the car. Soot and ash. That much remains. Well, come on. Hey, V, come here. Not a clue. Scorpion always had it on him. No idea why. Listen. I'm gonna sit here for a while, all right? Brood in peace. Their things are the families now. You lived on the road, you know how it is. Uh-huh. How'd he go? We're going for a drive. I can tell you're a city girl. You want to know everything, now, yesterday. <laughs> You've been in the city a while, haven't you? You want to know everything now, yesterday. Here in the Aldecaldos, it all stays in the family. Yep. But more driving, less talking. No, he wanted me to take him here and send him off with a bang. Yeah, yeah, quit complaining. Grab me that can, will you? Right. Shall we get this show on the road? But it was my best friend's dying wish, so I'll do whatever the fuck I can to make it happen, with or without you. Well, that's your loss. Hey, V. Thanks. I appreciate it. <laughs> Maybe he had a big stinger. <laughs> ah, Scorpion, you old bastard. I'm gonna miss you, man. Ah, oh, you seem like a good egg. Your path's crossed. Just for a moment. But damn, was it the right one? Oh, and, uh, thanks, V, for today. And for getting me out of that shit back then, too. You're all right. You're really all right. God damn it, Scorpion. V, the can. What are you waiting for? Go ahead. Light it. Come on. It's what he wanted. You still with us, V? Not this time. We're needed here. You know we would do anything for you, sister. Listen, we can't leave camp. No chance. But, but Saul never said a thing about gear. They were good people. Great people. They didn't have to die here. I tried. He wouldn't have listened to you either. Never was much of a listener. Everything's done here. All clear. Pan Am, shoot him. West, small unit, your passenger's entourage. Finishing up at the generators. Follow them. On my way in a bit. Battery should sort itself out. So you're the ones who hit them with that EMP? Kang Tao lost contact with their AV, probably looking for it. Better hurry. You're coming back for her, right? Pan Am, I said shoot, goddammit! Thanks to V and Pan Am. They both saved my ass. People who fly those AVs are the best of the best. Trained right and paid better. That pilot never would have gone against procedure. Wouldn't have had the balls. Let's move! Did you get hit? Hang on, girl. I'll patch you up. Pan Am, I'm sorry. 
I didn't make it in time. Yep, took him with him. In our cars. Pilot was telling the truth. There's an old gas station out there. So you're the ones who hit him with that EMP? Saul, he came with our people. We took care of the bodies. I told him what happened. And he told us to up and follow you. He was worried something would happen to you. To Pan Am. Look, maybe you two don't see eye to eye at the moment, but your family. And Saul will do anything for family. Come back to us. I understand. Take care. As soon as he heard what had happened, he ordered us to follow you. He was worried something would happen to you. Come back to us. I understand. If they made it to the station, they're probably waiting on backup. Better hurry. Sounds good. You know you are. Come back to us. As soon as Saul heard you had gone off alone after V, he had us follow you. He was worried something might happen. I'm Mitch. Let's move! I'm guessing since you were out here, you were out here for the AV. The question is, why? We saw it was damaged. We know this land. We knew where it would fall. We had no idea it was Kang Tao. Couldn't have been more wrong. Punch it, V. Hey, V. All right. That's probably good. We still have the nitro to try. I reckon that should do for today. All right. The afterburner is ready. The whole clan knows we set out tomorrow. Bobby said there's a scrapyard east of camp. In theory, we fitted an afterburner and a multi-RPG launcher up top. You'll take the wheel with Pan Am riding shotgun. Does it seem like she's tending to the left? Just keep shooting at those rust buckets. I'll recalibrate the targeting on the go. Then let the fun begin. Ma'am, yes, ma'am. Nobody's backing out of anything. You do your thing, I'll keep Militech at bay. Feels better, doesn't it? Blast another, just to be sure. Lo and behold. Right as rain. Okay, it's our turn now. Don't worry. Carol will slice through it like butter. 11%! There's likely a control room upstairs we can link remotely to the circ from there. The only thing we can do is hotwire the circ on location. Teddy salvaged it from a scrapyard. The launcher itself was fine. The problem was no ammunition. It's not a matter of nerves. Not anymore. Don't you want one? Got it. It's working. I'm no pundit on campfire politics, but to my eye, Saul doesn't have a whole lot of wiggle room. The only thing she proved is that she cares. But don't confuse that with wanting power. When we unleash this beast tomorrow, you'll see. Finish it up here, all right? Yeah, it's just now I know why nobody puts nitro in these. Back during the war, before we were first deployed, we were trained to keep stress in check. Do you want to know how? What do you mean? We keep going. Finish this. Look out for yourselves. So for now, they only know as much as they need to know. The aim is to help you out. I thought you knew her better. It's all good, V. I get it. Oh, small beans compared to the tricks we pulled with Scorpion during the war. Mm. After a dozen sessions, something clicks in your brain. Neural pathways get rewired. The part of you that generates fear is zapped into oblivion. I'm not concerned about tomorrow. Raids like that are second nature. It's what's going on in the camp. Why? You having second thoughts? I'm not worried about it. And neither should you be. Something else will be keeping me awake. Nah, no matter. <laughs> All right, then. The truth is I'm concerned about the goings-on between Pan Am and Saul. They seem to think that putting on a brave face for everyone is enough, but folks here aren't slow. They are, but nobody knows what comes next. What about me? It won't. Saul and Pan Am did one thing right, at least. They welcomed you into the clan. Not a one will abandon you in your hour of need. It's like this, see. Pan Am's hell-bent on helping you. But Saul sees this whole thing as an opportunity. Mm-hmm. If we pull this off, get our hands on some sweet Arasaka tech that'll set us up down south. Do you follow? Mm-hmm. Saul's a smooth operator. He knows what he's doing. Let's just hope he hasn't overplayed his hand. Let's just make sure everyone does what they're supposed to do tomorrow. It's a drivetrain. The augment was too much. Insides couldn't handle it. 
For shit's sake, someone help him! This one's more likely to fall apart after we fire it up. What about Bobby? Shouldn't we? Shit. See? She likes it. Welcome back to the living. You feeling okay? Mighty good to hear. You passed out on the way. You know me. I'd gladly spend another two days on her, but this'll have to do. Hop in. Let's see what she's made of. Carol, I'm heading your way. Hang in there. We also scooped out about 60% of its total mass. Beautiful, isn't she? Well, right now they need me more. You'll be fine. I'll join you once they're safe. I can handle myself, Pan. Likewise for you. Get to Mikoshi in one piece. I'm trying to get the Panzer running. She's stubborn, our dame, but I won't give either. Jesus Christ, Bobby! Bobby, do you read? We have to go and... Shit. Are we heading back? Listen, we just hit Night Corp ice. Carol's cutting through. It's slow work, but it'll get done. Where are you all at? After that display, you can be sure there's a place for you in the Panzer Boy ranks. Try hitting the targets with the throttle wide open. Let's see if she's synced up. Yes, cut it. She'll be fine without it. Good work, but we've got a minor hitch here. Hot wiring the circ on location. That seems our one option now. Don't you worry, V. We'll get you into that Makoshi. Isn't that the way of it? You had us worried back there. You passed out and we couldn't shake you awake. Pan Am asked me to keep an eagle eye on you. She's off debating Saul. You need help. That's clear. They sat right down to figure out how we might do that. We tried shaking you awake. To no avail. Sure does seem like your condition might be getting worse, V. It sure does seem like your uh, condition might be getting worse. Militech drones, heat incoming. Watch out for yourselves. Impressive rumble, yeah, but all seems good. V, something up? Are you drinking and driving or not? Um, is everything all right? You're awfully quiet. Is something up? Earth to V, your cogs are grinding. <laughs> what about? They've launched the drones. We won't take any official crossing. I think you know that, right? We'll make for our meeting point, join the rest of our people there, then we'll move on towards Tucson. They're dancing to our tune for now. I'll take on the rest of the drones. You two, full speed ahead. But by the time they get around to it, we'll be far, far away. Plus, that storm's a true stroke of luck. It should cover our tracks. It's high time. Hey, let's get the fuck out of here, shall we? I know, Pan Am, I know. It's one of those old smuggling tunnels. Thankfully, it's still open. We need the work, preferably the more lucrative kind. No better place than Night City in that regard. But the nature of biz here is such that sooner or later you'll step on some bigwig's pinky toes. That's what we call the owners of those huge sinmeat farms. Kansas was riddled with them operations, but Pan Am never seen one. Then the owner struts over to us, cowboy hat in hand, about to say howdy, when Pan Am, Pan Am drenches his boots with that day's lunch. You're asking how the hell I made it out alive? Since the corps have stopped shooting at each other for now, Militech cuts costs, outsources training. Fella like me can take advantage. Downsides that my head's gonna be killing me for the next few months. I did what I could. Take a tour. We have live eyes on it. Will you take a look? Hey there, V. Wishing duct tape could right all the world's wrongs. Will you take a look, or would you rather keep mouthing off? Hold on a minute, I got one more thing. I mostly improvised, actually. Spike Superjet. A rhino dose. It should speed up Saul's central pump. The Raffins can't see it. Active camo, but that practically inhales battery juice, so make it quick. Time to try it again. All is planned, boss. Carol still needs to check if Militech left any ice in the systems. Shit! Pan Am, can you please tell him? The Militech convoy will take the 101 right past us. Plus, we'll be doing our part towards furthering the cause of world peace. I believe V is right. If this had been Saul's idea, he would have seen it as the greatest plan on God's green earth. Why should this beast wind up being used in some little third world skirmish? Saul insists we see it through to the end.
to prove the Aldecaldos keep their word. He thinks it's safer to stick with the corporations, like Biotechnica. <laughs> what a joke. We would rather go back to plying the trade we know best. Logistics. That's what I said. <laughs> Are we preparing for a visit from Biotechnica? Okay, let's go. He tried to get Saul to lead us in joining Snake Nation. It would make us stronger, he said. Fuck, it worked! Hoo-hoo! <laughs> With just a little more time. There was too great a risk someone would take it to Saul. Thanks, V. I don't recall leaving Pan Am high and dry, though. To Scorpion. Like the backers. We got him! Now, we'll see to that. You and Pan Am just get the authorization code. Or a fourth corporate war. But a chance like this. I think I heard a little shake in that voice. Took good care of your ride. She's over there. Make yourself at home. Is anything wrong, V? But we could use your help. That's undeniable. Here we go! Grenade! God damn it! Drop the ball on this one. Fire in the hole! Ugh. Talk later then, I guess. Let's get back to the matter at hand, shall we? You're back. How'd you do? What's the word? 